Spiro Agnew, <laughs> was plucked from obscurity by Richard Nixon. Um, and he was the governor of, of Maryland. And Richard Nixon was like, ah, right, let's run with this guy, because he will say crazy shit to rile up the conservative base. And I don't have to do, like, I can just, like, float above it and hide my own moral depravity. And that, and that worked, actually. Like, they got elected for, you know, once, they got elected twice. And then it all kind of started to go south. Um, you may be familiar with a little thing called Watergate. Um, it's, a, it's a decent hotel. <laughs> So Watergate was going on, and in the midst of it, Spiro Agnew started to come under pressure because he was getting kickbacks from real estate developers. And Nixon, he was like, hey, Nixon, like, can you help me out here? Like, I don't want to go to jail. You know, you're the president. I, I just want to stay vice president. And Nixon was like, dude, I got my own shit. Like, I don't want to help you out. I'm in the middle of this. And Spiro was, like, mad about it. And then it kind of, like, got to the breaking point where finally Nixon was just like, this guy does have to leave. And Spiro did, but he was not happy about it. <laughs> now, unsurprisingly, because it was the Nixon White House, there were recordings of what Spiro said as he walked out the door. He said, there's a fire starting in my heart, reaching the feet of patience, bringing me out the door. Oh uh -huh.